guys, this is Night Elite, and today I want to talk about a method for detecting which route on an intersection a train arrived from. And this is of interest to me because, as you can see here in this screenshot, this is the uh, version 1 LTN and Vanilla Depot. And what I did in this one is I just had a single shared output track and the normal behavior of rail signals to prevented extra trains from departing out. But the drawback of this is that as you make it bigger and bigger and bigger, um, the time it takes for trains that are far away to exit the depot becomes long and that blocks all the other trains from leaving. So I wanted to move to a more equally pathed depot design so that the time for trains to leave is the same from any path as you can see here. But this presented a problem of where, how do you find out which branch of an intersection a train came from. So I had to see if there was a way to do that, and that's what I'm going to talk about today. So you see here, if we wanted to figure this out, we'd need a way of detecting which side a train arrived on. You might think, you can just put this here and see which signal turns red, but of course, put it after the regular signal, only the outgoing signal turns red, so that doesn't help. And if you put it at this point, um, you get that only the uh, both signals turn red. So here's an option though. What if you put two signals in a row? Then see both output signals turn red, but if the train is actually crossing, then you can um, you can detect this condition. However, this one doesn't work very well either because if there's a train out here, all of the you know, the next train's coming will stop like that, which will still trigger the same condition that you don't want. So, we are then stuck with finding another way, and I have figured one out. And it's kind of a tricky thing, but it exploits a behavior with train stations. So if we see here, and if we put a chain signal in front of a train station like this, um, if we put the train here, you'll notice that the chain signal turns blue rather than red. But if we take the station away, the signal turns red, therefore not being useful for detection. So what this will accomplish is if we do put a train, say over here, and we give it some kind of a, of a path for a station over there, which I'll just throw down. give it a bit of fuel, we see that it stops in front of the chain signal, whereas if we take this station away, um, uh, it would stop in the same place, but the chain signal is red, meaning that we can't detect which side the train came from. So, but now it remains blue, and then now, when we take the other train away, you can see, you can detect which side turned red and, and pick up which way the train came from that way. So what I'm doing in this new version is uh, exploiting that same behavior right here to detect which branch of this intersection um, a train came in from. So let me show you how that works. So all of these trains are now leaving, and what we're going to see is that as they come to the intersection, only one gets through, and we can see that only the metadata for the train that's... Uh, actively going out is kept instead of all of them being combined. So that one started in lane 2, then we get a train that started in lane 7, and so on. So anyway, it's a neat trick with chain, chain signals that you can still make trains stop in front of the chain signal while turning it blue if you put a station in between a regular signal and a chain signal. Thanks for watching.